This is the mid-module 5 review, page 1. Number 1. Nathan folded one piece of paper as pictured above. How many equal parts did he divide the whole into? If we count carefully, we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he has folded the paper into 10 equal parts. Letter B. Label each equal part as a unit fraction. So I have to imagine that only one portion is shaded and there are 10 equal parts, giving me a unit fraction of 1 tenth. I will label each fraction in the box as one tenth. So I'm done with A and B. Letter C. Identify the fraction of the strip he shaded. I can see that there is one, two, I should count by fractions, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths that are shaded. Letter D, identify the fraction of the strip he did not shade. Going back to the same picture, I see one tenth, two tenths, three tenths that are not Shade it. Number two, draw two squares the same size. Each square represents one whole. So the first thing I need to do is draw two squares that are the same size. It's important to draw them the same size because we cannot compare fractions that are not the same size. Letter A. Partition each square into four equal parts. Shade and label a fraction greater than one. So I need to make four equal parts and then shade and label a fraction greater than one. So I'm going to partition my squares into four equal parts. And then I'm going to shade one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. That's equal to one, but I have to go greater than one, so I'm going to shade one more, which is going to give me five-fourths. Letter B. Draw a number bond that shows one whole rectangle as four unit fractions. So one whole rectangle would give me the unit fractions of one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, and one fourth.